but, uh, but this, this opportunity to learn uh, with, by hands alone experientially, I, I'm sure will be a great advance in your appreciation and your knowledge of science. So uh, I'm very happy to ask God to bless this room, which will be a, a place of very special learning. And it's important, though, I think, for all of us to remember that there are no different kinds of truths. It's not just truth in science, and then you go to study religion, and that's another truth. Truth is one. So our, the knowledge that you learn here about God's creation, as you look at it magnified, or as you look at weight and mass, or you just see what part of God's creation is a better conductor of electricity, uh, it should all help us in our knowledge of God and our love for God through studying his creation. So just remember, truth is one. We don't have one set of truths here that are different from the ones in your religion classes. And I'm very excited to ask God to bless this room and all of the learning, the teachers and students who will uh, learn so much here in the lab learning. So can I have one of our lab-coded scientists help me? Would, would, you, would you just hold this for me? Thank you. Thank you. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. May God, the source of all wisdom, Christ the Lord, His Word incarnate, and the Holy Spirit of truth be with you all. Amen. The all-knowing God, who is Lord, moves us in many ways to deepen that knowledge of Him, which is revealed completely when for our sake the Word was made flesh. All disciplines, sciences, and teaching about the world and about human life that we pursue must have as their final purpose to bring us to the knowledge of the truth and to the worship of the true God. Today we ask God's blessing as we dedicate this new lab learner. This is a place of seeking, learning, and teaching what is true. It is an environment of faith and charity we ask that those entrusted with the education of the young people in this space may teach their students how to join the discoveries of human wisdom with the truth of the gospel so that they will be able to keep the true faith and live up to it in their daily lives. We also ask the Lord that the students will find in their teachers the image of Christ so that enriched with both human and divine learning, they will in turn be able and ready to enlighten and assist others. And so my brothers and sisters, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Let us call on God's blessing so that we may come to know and to follow in our lives all that is true, all that is right. Let us pray, Lord give us the spirit of wisdom. Yes. 